Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and another pre-recorded flight. Uh, today we are flying from Baltimore down to Douglas Charlotte and the 737 MAX 8 from Bredock 3D has made a return to the sim. We have had a few issues with a sim update number 11 but there have been a few patches released and it seems to be flying okay. So without any further ado, let's get into the flight deck and get this flight underway. Alrighty, flight plan has already entered into the FMS. Um, I have used the in-sim flight planner for this one because I have tried programming this uh, and it doesn't really like me that much. So the flight plan is already in. Uh, we are getting to a flight level of 360 today. Uh, we're also using uh, the ILS uh, to come in on runway 36 centre once we do arrive into Charlotte uh, this afternoon. Uh, everything else is pretty much all good to go. Weather uh, in uh, Baltimore today is we've got 11 to 17 knot wind near headwind as we uh, take off from runway 28. Uh, broken clouds down to 3,800 feet it is um, what are we 8.9 degrees centigrade. So it's a bit of a chilly morning here. Uh, sorry, afternoon here in Baltimore. Uh, weather in uh, Charlotte is. Let's have a quick look at that. Uh, so we are coming on runway 38. Uh, sorry, 36C, uh, 12 knots, not quite a headwind, so it'll be a little bit of a crosswind. Broken clouds down to 7,000 feet. Few clouds at 4,800 feet, and it is 10 degrees centigrade there uh, on arrival. Well, that probably will drop because um, it will get later into the afternoon as we come in. Let's um, get the aircraft started, uh, get our pushback commenced and we'll get things underway. So things are a little bit different in this aircraft for the startup. The APU does not stay on, um, so we sort of have to get our engine started almost at the gate while pushback is occurring. Um, now found, turn on the aft um, fuel pumps only, and that um, seems to uh, work a bit better. Get the APU on and APU started. While we're doing that, we'll get all the, um, the um, hydraulic pumps and electrics turned on. This is probably not even close to uh, the normal SOP for the 737. Uh, we'll get the APU bleed and also engine bleeds can come on as well. Um, we should get our anti-collision light on, logo lights already on, strobe and position will turn on later. Um, there we go, there's the APU supposedly started up. So we can uh, get the um, jetway retracted. There it goes, right through our pushback operator. It's another um, another death. We'll get um, seat belts fastened. No smoking should have already been on, but that's on now. And we'll get our tug underway. Uh, parking brake can come off. And while we're waiting for the tug, we can get, uh, we'll get rid of that. Uh, we'll get engine number two starting up. So if we didn't do that straight away, it would um, it would cut the power on pushback once the ground power disconnects. So just waiting for this here to get to 1.0 minimum. There it is, and we can get the engine actually fired up. Cool, so once that's fired up, we're firing up, we can get the ground power to off. And our frame rate diminishes. And we're just pushing back. We tail to the right this afternoon. Okay, that's engine number two already. We'll get engine number one. Just have to use the frame rate. This aircraft and the sim, the frame rate just absolutely dies on its ass. The Frontier A320 coming in. Where is our line? There it is. Might have started that push, uh, pushback turn a little too early. Or oh, maybe not, actually. We almost nailed that. Parking brake can come on and we should be able to, yes we can, we can get engine number one fired up. Awesome. While we're doing that we'll get the uh, nav lights can come on. 
and we can actually get the rest off the fuel pumps on as well. There we go, engine number one already. So we can put those um, starters back to off. Uh, APU bleed can come off. Um, and the APU can come off. Taxi lights can go on. And we are pretty much... Oh, no, we've got to get uh, flaps to f uh, 5 degrees. Um, and we will... And I'll zoom in for this because you can barely see it. I'll get the speed brake armed. That's it. That's the speed brake armed. Awesome. Um, and we can now taxi out to the uh, runway 28. So apart from the diminished frame rate and the weird startup uh, procedures, it's not a bad aircraft to fly. I quite um, like the uh, 737 MAX 8 from Bredock 3D. Okay, we'll just hold here at 28 for a, for a sec. We'll get things set up. So we've got to get uh, landing lights can come on. Um, uh, auto brake should be set to RTO. Uh, auto throttle should be armed. Uh, other than that, we are all good to get out onto the runway and take off. The frame rate uh, is just a little bit crappy at the moment. Once we get in the air, uh, that will definitely improve. I'm hoping the um, uh, we don't have the same issue at Charlotte. We probably will. I'm purposely not using bespoke airports for this flight in this aircraft to um, try and uh, keep the frame rate to the maximum possible. But this aircraft just is a bit of a frame rate killer. So I do apologise for that. will jitter and stutter quite a bit. Uh, once we get rolling, we will be fine. Okay, so we'll put the nose in just a little bit. We'll get her up to 50%, then we're just gonna toga. Sixty percent and Tiger. Passing one hundred check. V one. V one rotate. That wind just pushing us a little bit off to the right. Uh, positive rate gear can come up. Almost enter into a stall that was a bit dodgy. We'll lose uh, one of the flaps. And autopilot on. We should veer to, yep, there we go, to the left. I'll oh, we'll go. Uh, flaps to one. That was very close to a stall. And we'll go flaps zero. 
Uh, we can disarm that um, speed brake now as well. Barely see move. Sweet, so that is 10,000, so landing lights can come off. And uh, I will see you at flight level 180. Okay, just approaching 180 now. There it is. Uh, so we can put our QNH to uh, standard. Now you can't actually do that in this aircraft. You've got to manually put it up to 2992, which we can do from there. Excellent. Um, so it is, pretty, it is a pretty decent climber. So if I go back into the zoom, uh, we're climbing at uh, yeah, 3,600 feet per minute, which is um, epic performance from this, uh, from this machine. Uh, but I will be back uh, once we reach our cruise altitude. Just approaching uh, flight level 360 now. Uh, the aircraft is just settling. Did not take too long to get up to uh, this altitude at all, which is brilliant. Uh, so flight time, I didn't mention at the start of the video, is probably about an hour, an hour and 10 minutes, I think. Um, I forgot to set the chrono. <laughs> It's quite funny. Um, also, one thing I did forget to do before takeoff was turn on the strobe lights, which I have done now. Um, so that is uh, definitely against uh, standard operating procedure. We'll probably get written up by the um, FAA for that one on this flight. Let's have a quick look at the uh, weather in uh, Charlotte again. So this was as of 50 minutes ago, so probably no change to what it was before, but 12 knot wind uh, coming in on runway 36 centre. Uh, broken cloud down to 7,000, few at 4,800 feet. Uh, so pretty standard arrival uh, into Charlotte for the uh, late afternoon. And uh, But I will be with you, back with you at uh, top of descent and we'll start getting this uh, little bird down onto the ground. Two souls colliding We shared the pieces of ourselves It's perfect timing now we fueled the flames, but we're still learning to trust, learning to trust. It's never enough, never enough. Burning me up, burning me up. Don't fight the fire. Too much, too fast to burn us out. We walk the wire, love. Don't make me read your mind. I know it. Learn to trust, learn to trust. It's never enough, it's never enough. Burning me up, burning me up I won't fall when I'm picking you up I love my hand, I will be strong enough For our love is stronger And I'll be here My lead, now we're taking the jump My pride, cause I know you're the one I love is stronger Baby, I know that it's stronger than yesterday We're just coming up to top of descent now, so it looks like we're about 80, 100, 140 miles away. So another few miles and we will uh, begin our approach, sorry, our descent down into Charlotte. Now the weather has changed just a little bit, so we'll bring that up. It is currently uh, 9.4 degrees centigrade, so it has dropped a little bit in Charlotte. But the wind has picked up, so 14 to 21 knots. Uh, still pretty much the same direction, 340. 
um, but the uh, cloud has also changed. We've got broken ceiling at 7,500 feet, scattered at 5,500 feet, and few at 3,000 feet. So it will be a little bit of a cloudy uh, approach into Charlotte this afternoon. Uh, now looking outside, you can see there is quite a bit of cloud around uh, us right now. So it will, um, it could be a bit of a dicey landing as well with that wind, uh, but we'll see how we go. Um, I am going to start bringing her down, so we'll take her down to flight level 280 to begin with. Uh, the computer has already slowed us down to 242 knots. Not sure if that's a real life thing or if, um, if it's just the sim that does that. Anyway, let's oh, bring up our speed. Um, so 242. Um, and we will begin our descent down at 2,000 feet to begin with. And then once we reach um, around 30,000 feet, we'll um, assess and slow the vertical speed from there. So I will see you again at flight level 180. Just coming down to 180, so I'm going to check our Q&H. It should be uh, 2977. Uh, that wind is still holding 14 to 21 knots. That was 49 minutes ago, so hopefully it has died down a little bit uh, by the time we come down onto final approach. Uh, but we'll get our Q&H down from 2992 to 2977. There we go. Uh, that's 180, so we will make our descent, let's go back in for a closer look, so we want to come down to about 8,000 feet just before we start making our um, approach. So let's go straight down to 8,000 now. Oh, that's not 8,000. There we go, vertical, do that at... Uh, we'll go down at 1,800 feet per minute to start with and then we'll... Um, ease that off as we get down further. We are a little bit uh, higher up than we would have liked to have been. Um, Charlotte does sit at uh, 748 feet above uh, sea level, um, so we have got a little bit of uh, altitude to play with, but it would have liked to be a little bit lower at this stage. Looks like it is all going to work out just fine though, so I will come back to you once we have reached uh, 10,000 feet. We're just coming down to flight level 100 or 10,000 feet now. We have entered a um, large amount of cloud which is sitting at 10,000 feet um, but looking through it you can see the ground so it um, should clear off as we drop below this canopy here. Uh, we are going to get uh, landing lights on, seat belts already come on, I'll turn those on uh, just below 18,000 feet um, and we also will uh, get our speed down to 220 as we are approaching the desal mark now um, and we'll go uh, flaps to 1. Uh, we should be at 8,000 by the time we make our turn on to approach um, and I will be back with you after we've made the turn. Okay, we have uh, arrived at uh, 8,000 feet. Our computer has decided to deviate us just a little bit so we're going to miss out on Solemn um, and head straight for uh, Crystal. That's fine, we are low enough to allow it to do that um, but we will get ourselves down to uh, 4,000 feet um, to try and meet up with the glide slope. ILS is already activated so we can see um, the horizontal diamond has appeared. So we're just waiting for the uh, vertical. Um, so we'll get down to 4,000 feet and we'll do that at... Uh, we'll go 1,200 feet per minute. 
uh, to begin with. We're also going to drop our speed down to 200 knots and get uh, the second notch of flaps out. Uh, so we'll do that now. We're about roughly 20 miles away from the airport. Um, we can see our, um, our vertical diamond has appeared, so we should drop down below that quite easily. That I will be with you uh, all the way down into landing from this point onwards. Yeah, so we have dropped down below that uh, cloud canopy, uh, but there is it is quite misty around as we come in into um, Charlotte this afternoon. It's not showing uh, rain on the um, radar at all, um, and that wind is still showing as 14 to 21 knots um, at uh, 340, 14 to 21. Uh, so slight crosswind. Now this aircraft is not fun to land in a crosswind at the best of times so we'll um, see how we go. Looks like we're pretty much holding um, the glide slope which is cool. We'll runway in sight as well. Uh, we can activate the localizer. And we'll go in for our landing view. Just going to keep it going down to 4,000 then we'll hit approach. Um, our go around today is, if I can bring that up on here, um, so I missed approach, climb to 3,000 on CLT um, to Tommy um, and, uh, and hold. Uh, so once we get down below 3,000, uh, we'll keep it at 3,000 of course, and um, that'll be our go around altitude. Pretty standard approach into Charlotte this afternoon. Uh, but we'll get the speed down to 160, start getting some more flaps out. I find with these Boeing aircraft, they do they do take a little bit to slow down. Um, they're not as um, pinpoint accurate as the, uh, as, as the Airbus aircraft in the sim. Not sure which one's more realistic, no idea. Okay, so we'll go five degrees of flaps. And you can see the flaps don't really start coming out on this model aircraft um, until after 10 degrees, which is interesting. <coughs> oh, but we can um, hit approach now because we are getting below that diamond. We'll go um, uh, 10 degrees of flaps as we come as our speed comes down. And we'll adjust our altitude to 3,000 for go around. The speed's not really dropping rapidly. But we'll adjust that to final um, landing speed of 145 knots. Uh, sorry, 140 knots for this aircraft. And flaps 15. We are going to arm the speed brake as well. Barely see that move. Uh, flaps 20 degrees. And gear can come down also. You see those flaps have uh, started to actually show as deploying. Alrighty, gear down. Uh, brakes will be set to, uh, auto brakes will be set to two for this landing today. We've got plenty of runway. We probably could get away with um, uh, auto brake to one. Uh, flaps to 25, uh, sorry, 30 degrees. That pulled our speed down rapidly, so we'll go flaps to full. Uh, 
I'm going to hold the uh, autopilot on for a little bit longer than below 1000. Um, just because of that, um, that crosswind, we have got um, 18 knots showing on our instruments. It is uh, 14 to 21 on the meta still. That was 63 minutes ago, so I'm not sure how accurate that actually is. 1000. There's 1000. We'll keep going down until it, um, it has dropped just below the glide slope a little bit. So we'll keep going down until it has um, realigned us. Probably skim the tops of these trees as we come in. Okay, we're going to take autopilot off. Just lift the nose just a little bit. Four hundred. Knew would drop like a stone as we come in. For some reason the Boeings, they, um, like their nose likes to drop on approach if you take the autopilot off. In the sim, I mean, I can't say for real life. Disengage um, uh, auto thrust. We'll just pull that back just a little bit. This is going to be a little bit rough. Yes, I know I was nose diving to the runway. 50. 40, 30, 20. Gonna be off to the side just a little bit. 10. Touchdown. It's a bit heavy and we were a whale off to the side as that wind blew us just a little bit. Two are in reverse. Below 60, rear versus stowed, and manual braking. And we will just take this next exit coming up. Can um, lose the speed brake and the uh, flaps. Get rid of the landing lights. Uh, taxi light can come on. We'll also turn off the strobes and the nav lights as well. We'll just take this exit here. Alpha 27, that'll do. I don't see any other Southwest aircraft here, so I'm not sure what terminal I should be at, but this one will do. Park brake can come on. I didn't turn on the APU um, on purpose because um, it doesn't actually turn on, so there's no point. Um, but we've got the ground power on. We'll get uh, engines two and one shut down, and we'll also kill the fuel pumps as well. Uh, beacon light can come off, and the uh, jetway can get connected. Uh, logo light, we'll leave that on, why not? Uh, taxi light can come off, uh, fuel pumps are off, uh, we'll get the engine bleeds off, uh, we'll turn off the right pack, left pack and the isolation valve um, and the electrics can also come off and we will go into, ready on, oh that all stays as is. Excellent, so welcome to Douglas Charlotte, uh, thank you for watching along. There's another Southwest, I wonder where you're going to go. I wonder if you're going to go into the same terminal. What are you? Oh, another 7, 8, uh, 737 MAX 8. Awesome. Um, this is Charlotte. So this is, again, this is not the um, any bespoke um, airport scenery at all. This is just the um, standard one that comes with the game, uh, simply to try and keep frame rates down with this uh, flying this aircraft. 
as my um, jetway just randomly disconnects from the... Um, there we go. Now we're back. Okay, so they're going in there. Anyway, um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, make sure you check out uh, the uh, other uh, flights and past live streams that I do have. Live streaming is not going to be a regular thing anymore just due to uh, internet issues that I constantly seem to have. Um, so they will be uh, randomly appearing on the channel. I will put that um, in the community when they will happen. So make sure that you do subscribe and hit that notification bell uh, so you know when they will be uh, coming up in future. But um, as always, uh, stay safe and uh, I'll see you in the next one.